What is up, Twitch hikers? That's my name today for all of you guys watching. I think we've got a neat flight plan today. We're going to be touring some of the uh, Orbix add-on airports for the uh, Pacific Northwest. As soon as I get all situated here. Oh, let's see what's on my list. I've got a list. Uh, we're going to start out at KHQM Bowerman Airport. We're going to head on up to uh, 2S1 Bashan Island Airport. Uh, maybe land there, maybe do a touch and go. I don't know, we'll see. Check out the scenery there. Uh, then we'll head over to uh, 1WA6 Fall City Airport. Probably land there. And uh, then we'll head over to uh, 7WA3 West Wind Airport. Check that out. And then we're probably going to switch planes. Uh, right now we're in the uh, Alabeo or Carinado. Alabeo? I think it's Alabeo. Uh, the uh, Cessna 195 business liner. Take a look at this gorgeous plane. Beautiful vintage aircraft. Nice bare metal. Retro paint job. It's pretty sweet. It's got a nice engine growl to it. Uh, but yeah, at uh, 7 WA3, we're going to be uh, probably switching over to uh, some sort of flying boat because uh, then we're going to head on over to CAX6, the Ganges Water Aerodrome, and uh, land on the water there and see if we can't figure out what's what. If we can even find it, because it doesn't have a runway. That sounds good. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got this old bird all fired up. I'm just about ready to taxi. As soon as I get another puff in. And I know what you're thinking, and no, this is a uh, this is just a regular tobacco pipe, because that's what I'm all about. So I got my pipe, got my coffee. I've got my headings and distances. We're going to be hand flying this thing. This little tail dragger. So, uh, first of all, let's see if I can't uh, get this guy uh, taxied out. I'm going to move over a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. And uh, try to get this tail dragger taxied out here. Pretty responsive to the throttles, which is good. I am completely unfamiliar with this airport. Like I said, this is a KHQM Bowerman Airport. Uh, one of the, uh, I think this is actually a freeware add-on from Orbix. It does require the uh, Pacific Northwest scenery. which is not free um, 
putting the uh, the old rudder pedals through their paces right now. I've got the CH products rudder pedals, and uh, they're pretty good. Um, they do have kind of a little notch to tell you when they're centered. I don't know if that's a very realistic feeling. I would assume it's not. But it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with them. They seem to be performing well, and they're better than no rudder pedals at all. So let's see. I'm going to taxi down until I'm pretty sure I'm at the far end of this runway. Like I said, I'm very un I'm unfamiliar with this airport. I didn't even check out the layout or anything. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, hitting this one blind. And it uh, looks like I've got two windsocks that they're doing completely different things. First wind sock I looked at seemed to indicate that uh, this would be the better end of the runway to uh, jump off from. Uh, these guys are kind of facing a couple different directions. Maybe there's no wind at all. And uh, that's just how they're sitting. to the end of the runway here. I've got a uh, zombie apocalypse mode turned on right now, so uh, there is no ATC and there's no other air traffic. We're going to be up in the skies all by ourselves today. Mostly just checking out the scenery. Lined up here. Alright, let me set my parking brake for a second. And, uh, I am, like I said, I'm going to be hand flying this today, uh, but I will need my uh, little heading helper here, my heading bug. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set my heading bug. Let's see. We're going to be at uh, heading 48 degrees first over towards Vashon Island Airport. And uh, let's see. Uh, 15, 20, 25. Let me set my watch. Go ahead and strap that guy to my wrist. Maybe that'll help me remember to check it. Nice little uh, quartz. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, no, you can't. No. Oh, uh, nice little uh, quartz boulevard that I got for Christmas last year in my cockpit here with me, helping me keep time. And, uh, all right, so without any further ado, let's get this bird in the air. And head out towards Vashon Island. Oh, and that's off the ground pretty quick. This thing was off the ground before I even knew it. I think what I might want to do... Is maybe uh, circle around and get a good look at this airport first 
before we get too far away. Look at this nice uh, orbic scenery. And, uh, man, I've seriously got to trim this guy down. Good grief. And everything you're going to be uh, looking at here is the uh, orbic scenery. I have the uh, global base, global vector, North American open land class, uh, Pacific Northwest region installed. And then, of course, these uh, extra little airports here. And there's the uh, Pacific Ocean ahead of us. We're actually starting out on the Pacific pretty much and uh, heading inland. I don't even see the airport. Where'd the airport go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, this is my uh, first experience with this particular airport here, and uh, like I said, it is a uh, free freeware add-on from Orbix. So uh, looks like they didn't have to do much work to that, which can probably explain it. makes sense all right well I got a good look at that one let's uh, go ahead and turn out on course here and uh, head out to Vashon Island Airport and uh, Vashon is going to be just slightly uh, west southwest of uh, Seattle If anybody's watching, thanks for joining me. Go ahead and uh, type, up, type something in the chat. Always makes it more interesting to have somebody to talk to. And thanks for being here. Alright, let's get this uh, turn completed. I've got my heading bug set to the uh, direction I want to go. So I'll just kind of aim it that way. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and uh, get us a little bit of an uh, altitude here to so get a good look at our scenery and terrain. Let me go ahead and turn my landing lights off. I'm not super familiar with this airplane. This is uh, my second time flying it. And I've uh, read absolutely none of the uh, manuals or paperwork or readme files that belong to this aircraft. But so far I'm pretty impressed with it. If you have a good set of speakers uh, that you're listening to right now, go ahead and turn it up and uh, listen to the growl 
of that vintage engine. Oh yeah. That's a sexy beast right there. Ooh baby. Yeah baby. Also got the Orbix Global Vector installed. So hopefully all these uh, major roads and waterways are accurate. Coastlines. Uh, repeating tiles there in the water. Anywho, this should be a lovely flight. Got a pretty good rate of climb going here. Gonna need to loosen my watch about a knot. Notch. A knot. I was thinking about my airspeed. About a notch. And, uh,. See where we're at on time. And I kind of want to stay just below these clouds. So I think, uh, I'm thinking 5,000 is going to be pretty good for us. So we'll just level off there. Uh, I want to make about 160 knots uh, cruise for this trip. So let's go ahead and start to level her off. Lean it out a little bit. I should have done that much earlier. That feels about right. Get it trimmed out. Just a little better than uh, 160 knots right now. And pull back my throttle just a hair. Okay, so so I'll just be making good time. You know, the one uh, 168. It's okay. So it looks like we've got a, a hard winter landscape going on right now, which uh, I don't think I've been. Uh, I don't think I've done any flying here around this uh, Pacific Northwest scenery. Uh, since uh, winter really set in, so that's, uh, that's a little new to me. Let's switch over here, make sure my uh, mic is on real quick. Okay, yeah, it looks like my mic's on. Sounds are on, transmitting. That's good, it's all good, we're good. Ah, uh, good. It's all good. Take a look around real quick. Oh, and there is a uh, nuclear power plant, looks like. I see a couple of water cooling towers. So that's kind of cool. Had not seen that before, and I might need to come back and explore it a little more at some later time. So this is all just hills and stuff.
Yeah, it's a nice airplane. I wouldn't mind owning one real world. If I had my pilot's license. And quite a bit of money. That's all it takes, right? Some nice uh, straight and level crews here. It's all trimmed out. I don't really have to do much to uh, keep this bird pointed where I want it pointed. Puff on my pipe a little bit. Sip on my coffee. Watch my watch. Is that why they call it a watch? Because you watch it? Things that make you say, hmm. The clouds are looking pretty nice. I think the sun's setting a little quicker than I wanted it to. I mean, oh geez, it's only 340. Well, this is the Pacific Northwest. around here a bit. This guy looks like he's nose down. Yeah, I've still got a little bit of sunlight left. I'll adjust that later if I need to, or I might just end up flying at night. This little tail dragger here looks like it, it, it kind of looks like it's nose down, but, you know, I guess that's just how it looks. I am straight and level. I wonder if I could get a screenshot here. It didn't work last time. Oh, nope. Could not. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Looks like I veered off course just slightly while I was messing around, playing around a bit. Let's get her flying back in the right direction. I'm really going to have to search for uh, Vashon Island once I get there because I'm not familiar with that one. Um, Vashon Island, I believe, is a... Uh, is another freeware airport from Orbix. Um, and uh, after we hit that one up and check it out, see what it's all about, uh, we're going to go over to uh, 1WA6 Fall City Airport. Now, Fall City is payware. And uh, that one's pretty neat. I've already uh, flown in and out of there a couple of times. And, you know, it's got, uh, it's got like falling, you know, leaves falling from the trees and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of cool. Some little animated guys, little truck driving around doing things. It's pretty neat. But uh, I have not checked out uh, Vashon Island yet. And that's 2S1. So uh, I'm going to be just as surprised as you are once I get there and uh, we see what this thing's all about. Looks like I might have a couple of uh, nighttime tiles popping up down there. 
a little bit, a little yellow looking. Uh, Uh, we'll see. If you're just joining, thanks. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, type something to the chat box. We'll have ourselves a little conversation here. What is that? Is that Fashion Island? I don't think that's Fashion Island yet. What I need to do is see if I can pull up. Pull up Sky Vector here. I know you guys can't see. Uh, you guys can't see this. Okay, so that's going to be uh, Shelton. Really, am I still that far out still? Okay, so that looks like Shelton Airport. So I'm heading the right direction. We're doing good. I've been uh, climbing steadily. So I haven't really been paying attention to that. But like I said, you know, there's uh, no other air traffic tonight for us to worry about because the zombie apocalypse has occurred. Alright, we're just uh, a few minutes away from Bastion Island Airport, and uh, we'll check this guy out. See what it's all about. It was free, so I'm not expecting much. A little better view over the nose of this tail dragger. Let me just pull up Sky Vector again, and uh, okay, so there's a there's a big island just across from Seattle. And that's what I'm looking for. This airport's going to be pretty close to the uh, north end of that big island. I'm going to try to pull my power back just a notch. So I've been in a pretty good climb for a while. I wanted to stay around 5,000 feet uh, just under these clouds. And uh, I've not been doing a very good job of that. So... So it looks like I can see the, uh, at least the outline of uh, where Seattle should be up there in the distance. And uh, I think I might even see the island, uh, Vashon Island here. I'm actually going to... I'm going to start descending. Give it just a hair more mixture and a hair less throttle. I'm getting some haze popping in and out because I'm going in and out of these clouds. All right, I've got a nice steady descent going here. And now I think I need to start figuring out uh, which one's Vashon Island here pretty soon. Anybody watching, thanks for joining me. Don't be shy. Type something in the chat box. Just say hi. I'll say hi back. I don't bite.
I'd hate to feel like I'm uh, talking to myself all evening. That's what crazy people do. I'm not saying that I'm not, but. Alright, let's take a look around here. Fashion Island, are you up ahead? Yeah, it's getting dark pretty quick, too. I think I'm going to have to adjust the time. Sunset looks pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to give it a little more of a, get into a little uh, steeper descent here. I think maybe uh, once I land here at Vashon Island, I'll go ahead and uh, reset the time for the next leg. Whew. I hit my rudder pedals there. I'll uh, reset the time for the next leg. Uh, give us a little more light. I didn't realize it'd be getting this dark this early, but it's the Pacific Northwest. What are you going to do? It's the winter time. Long nights. Alright, so I'm guessing that's Vashon Island right up ahead, and I'm kind of pointed at the uh, south end of it. That's what I'm guessing. I mean, eh, seems about right. We'll go with that. I'm in a pretty steady descent, but uh, I might need to get lower faster depending on uh, where I figure the airport might be. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's just up ahead. Uh, I would point at the screen, but I don't think my mouse lines up right the way I've got this set up. So I don't know if you guys will see what I see, but there's a little landmass here, and then another landmass back here, and I think that is going to be Vashon Island, so the airport should be right up here. Let me pull up Sky Vector again real quick. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I have no idea what direction the runway is situated. I did not do my research. I guarantee you, if I were flying this real world, I will, I will have done my research. I'm going to steepen my descent just a little more so I can get down there. I know it's obviously going to be pretty much close to sea level.
richen this mixture up just a little bit. So I'm guessing we're, we're going over there somewhere. And probably what I should do is do a uh, low level flyby. And uh, get, a, get a good feel for the airport. after I find it. So that'll give me some time to uh, descend a little more also. And it'll give me a good plan of action once I uh, once I figure out the layout and what's going on over there. So let me point her that way, and let's see if we can't spot the airport. Yeah, you know, all the lights are coming on. It's getting dark, and I don't think I want to fly to uh, Fall City in the dark, so I'll probably uh, go ahead and reset the time once we're at uh, once we're on the ground there at Vashon. I'll just pretend. See, that looks like that might be an airport right there. Uh, let me see what else is around. Okay, so there's two airports on this island. And uh, that's probably not the right one. We are looking for the uh, northernmost of the two airports on this island. I see some lights trying to pop up over there. That little black square that should not be there. If anybody's watching this live, go ahead and uh, type something in the chat box. Let's talk about it. Have a good time. If you're watching this after the fact, thanks for watching. Go ahead and follow my uh, channel. Catch me uh, next time when I'm on live. And we'll talk about stuff and things, and it'll be fun. Well, I. Is that, I don't even see the first airport, which could be anything. And I'm pretty sure I'm already much too far north uh, to spot that first airport. It might have been farther south. I thought it was going to be in that clearing there. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the 2S1 Bashan Island Airport right up here. So we'll do a little flyby. We'll call this our uh, upwind leg. And again, this is a, a freeware add-on airport from Orbix. So I'm not expecting much, and it doesn't look like it's much. Just a little strip with some buildings on either side.
Okay. Yep, just a simple little airport. That looks like it. There's uh, Seattle up there. So let me uh, go ahead and start slowing this guy down a little bit. Turn it around. I don't need to lose much more altitude than I've already lost. <clears throat> but I do want to lose some of this airspeed. And uh, we'll turn around, set her up on the uh, downwind. And then we'll land towards the north. Yeah, the sunset is looking gorgeous. I think I need to turn on my uh, instrument lights here so I can see what's going on. I've already lost sight of the airstrip. I think that's it right there, right in front of the uh, pitot tube. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I have no idea what the uh, magnetic direction of the runway is. So this should be an adventure. I think I'm slow enough that I could put in my flaps. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe I need to do it on my. Oh, there we go. Alright, we've got flaps. There go my flaps. I have completely lost sight of the airport. And I'm pitching down like a madman. I have no clue what the stall speed on this bird is. And I wouldn't want to find out right now. Well, let's see if I can catch sight of the airport again here. I feel like I am pretty low. I mean, I assumed that this is going to be pretty, pretty well near sea. Whoa, near sea level. And uh, I was wrong. Wow, I have no clue where the airport went. I can't see anything over the nose of this airplane. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, well, I'm too low, obviously. So, uh, we're just going to do this dirty. Just going to climb up, turn around again. Little bush flying for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, 
and uh, we'll try this again. If you're just joining me, thanks for joining. I am uh, checking out some uh, Orbex out on airports, and right now I'm trying to land at 2S1. Vashon Island Airport, a freeware add-on from Orbix. And uh, I'm pretty much doing this uh, blind without ever having been at this airport before in a plane that I've almost never flown before. This is my second time flying it. And uh, so far it's been pretty ugly. I completely lost sight of the airport on the last go around turning final because I was too low so I'm gonna turn around and uh, see if I can't put it on the ground somewhere in the vicinity of the runway but thanks for being here go ahead and type something in the chat box and uh, we'll just have a good old time trying to land this vintage bird And then after that, we'll head on up to uh, Fall City and check out that one after I reset the time because it's getting too dark. Oh, there it is. I can see it this time, and that's probably because I'm too high. So I'm going to be high and fast. Good job. I'm just going to cut it. Yeah, this is a pretty sketchy landing right here. Not lined up. Let's try not to hit these trees. Try not to hit those cars. Yeah, this is super sketchy. Okay. And I am all the way at idle. Okay, well, we got her down. I'm trying not to get on the brakes because of... Uh, because I don't want this uh, this thing to end up on its nose. Wow, that was sketchy. Jeez. All right, so here we are. This is Bastion Island. Uh, I'm kind of on the runway, I guess. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, add-on airport. 2S1 from uh, Orbix. Okay, looks pretty cool. We got a couple of people standing around over there. Got a couple of airplanes. Okay, that's neat. It's a neat airport. It's uh, it's freeware. What do you expect? view from the tower. I don't think it actually has a tower, but it is what it is. Alright, well, I guess uh, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to roll this time back a little bit. Uh, time and season. I, I know you, and I know you guys can't see this. Okay, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, I can call these tiles to reload. Some kind of craziness going on here. Not sure what. It's kind of nice. I got some grass in here. I mean, it's not it's not a super complicated, crazy airport, but it's nice. 
It's free. What are you gonna do? Okay, well... Wow, what is going on? The ground keeps changing. Okay, I think, uh... Put my flaps up. And, uh... Let's see if we can't get this thing turned around. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know that the uh, turning radius on this Alabeo is uh, very realistic. Alright, I guess I'm on the runway here. I'm going to turn this around, go down to the other end, and uh, then we'll turn around again. I'll. Uh, set my heading and uh, we'll go over to Fall City check that one out that, that is a payware airport and uh, I guarantee you it is much cooler than this one I mean not that there's a, a, a lot to it but uh, it is it is slightly more impressive than this airport And cut it in close to this car here. Let's see if we can't get it to turn on a dime again. And hope I don't run into a tree or a house. Like that tree right there. Or those trees right there. Alright, there's sort of a runway in front of me. Set my parking brake here. Alright, uh, we are going to head towards uh, 331. All right, 331 degrees. That can't be right. No, it's not right. It's actually 60 degrees. So I was looking at the wrong airport. It didn't make sense. So I had to double check it. And I'm glad I did, or else I would have been God only knows where. So we're going to be heading 60 degrees, and uh, this will just be a short hop. Let's set my watch. Can't even see my full gauge. Okay, I've still got plenty of fuel. Alright, let's uh, get this bird back in the air and uh, head over to Fall City and check that out. Oh, my parking brake is still engaged. Actually, I need to make sure my trim is set for takeoff, and it is not. Okay, parking brake's off, and here we go. So responsive. Jeez. If I can't clear these trees, it'd be pretty nice if I can. Okay, that was sketchy.
We're in the air. I'm going to go ahead and turn on course here towards Fall City. Not waste any time. Just a short hop, a couple minutes over there. And I don't think I'm going to get too high here. All right. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. That was uh, Seattle back there in the uh, background. Get a nice little view of that. I don't. I. I don't think the. Uh, winter scenery looks quite as stunning as the other seasons but maybe that's just me I'm a Florida boy what do I know this thing keeps trying to climb on me like nuts this is a short little hop over to Fall City. We will be there in just a moment. And I'll be honest with you. I have half a mind to uh, change planes in Fall City. Nah, that's no fun. This one seems to make good time. I do hate that uh, my last landing in this was crap. I'm better than that. But it is what it is. If I switch over to my uh, 172, I could do a much better job. I like this bird. Ooh, wow, frame rates. I like this vintage Cessna. It's pretty sweet. In my not so humble opinion. We should actually be getting pretty close to Fall City here. And try to look up over the uh, nose of this airplane, see where I'm going.
pretty sure it's just over these hills somewhere. Been in and out of it a couple of times. Never in the winter though. It might make it a little harder to spot. And I've not seen it in the winter. It looks really good in the fall and in the summer. And uh, like I said, Fall City is uh, that's one WA6. That is Payware, a Payware add-on airport from Orbix. And uh, it's around here somewhere. think uh, I'll find it don't worry I think it's over that way because those mountains look familiar <laughs> If mountains can look familiar, those mountains look familiar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right over that way. It would probably help if I could see around my compass. I'm pretty sure it's up in this little little valley here. Of course, if we were flying this at a little later time, when it were darker, I could probably see the uh, runway lights. I think it's that yeah it's down in this valley here and I can't see it but I've been in and out of this airport a couple of times which is the only reason that I almost know about where it's at. Start pulling back my power and uh, slowing this guy down. put in some flaps here oh yeah I can do that with my uh, my flap switch all right we got some flaps Now all I need to do is get the airport in sight. 
which I, I, I see the area that the airport is in, but I do not see the airport. I mean, I know, I know about where it's at. Oh. And I think I'm pretty, I, I, I think I can just about make out the runway now. Straight ahead. And I wasn't sighing because this is challenging or difficult or I'm frustrated. I'm sighing because I'm talking to myself. So if anybody's watching, go ahead and uh, type something in the chat box. We'll have a nice chat. Say hi. And if you're watching this later, not live, go ahead and give me a follow and uh, hop on here next time I'm live. Turn on notifications. And we'll talk. I'm a very funny guy. I mean, you know, when I have somebody to talk to. Alright, so that is the airport just up ahead. And there's absolutely nothing to indicate that it's an airport other than the fact that I know it's an airport. So let's try to put her down. Maybe you can uh, make out the end of the runway just there. Come on, baby. I only bounced a little bit. Alright, well, let's not go off the end. I'm going off the side a little bit. Oh, I'm about to go off the end of this runway. Oh. That was a nail biter. Oh, oh, oh man, look at that. Oh, 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 good grief. Wow. That was something right there. Put those flaps up. Wow, wow, that was a nail biter. Good grief. I am surprised I got her on the ground and stopped in time, but uh, but I did. Let's see if I can't get it turned around, and uh, we'll take a look at this airport that Orbix has uh, so expertly and uh, graciously crafted for us to spend our money on. This airplane turns around just just I mean it's it's not realistic. It's just not realistic. Let's get over here where I can see. I'm pretty sure in the real world if I were in this airplane I'd I'd probably have my face stuck to the window and my head up against the uh, roof of the cabin in order to get this particular view right here. If you're just joining, thanks for watching. Be sure to say hi in chat. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the uh, exterior view so and get a good look at this airport. So yeah, there we go. You can see over there. Let's go ahead and go off road here for a second. Yeah, you can see we got some guys walking around back there. 
I'm sure I'm kicking up a lot of dust. Maybe that's snow. I think I'm kicking up snow. Alright, so we got a couple of buildings. Go ahead and uh, take a look around here. We've got a uh, oh, there's the pickup truck doing something over there. Looks like he's uh, hauling some tires. Oh, whoa, where are you going? Okay, so we've got some vehicles driving around on the property. Some nice looking, there's another car. Some nice looking houses and stuff modeled. Got some bird noises, some birds chirping in the background. up here and see what this guy's doing. Oh, there's that, that truck pulled around there. I think they're about to do something. Got a guy reading the newspaper there. This guy's going to unload some boxes. up a lot of snow, a lot of powder. Set my parking brakes here. Alright, uh, let's see. This guy's lo loading or unloading boxes. He's loading boxes. So that's a nice little touch. You can see the uh, airplanes in the hangars. Uh, dude sitting over there on a box reading a newspaper. It's a nice airport, and again, that's, uh, this is one WA6 Fall City, Fall City Airport. Uh, payware add-on from Orbix. It does require that you have the uh, Pacific Northwest scenery add-on as a pre prerequisite. Second, I'm taking a smoke break here. Alright, I think what I want to do is, uh, I want to go ahead and reset the uh, time. Make it a little brighter out there. Oh, it's got to reload. Let's hang on a second. Loading, loading, loading. Come on, baby. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit brighter. That's a little better. Nice little uh, winter landscape here. God, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, good grief. Sorry about that. Ah. <clears throat> okay, now I'm debating whether or not to uh, switch airplanes here because... I am not familiar enough with this airplane to uh, do a decent landing. I mean, I can get it on the ground, kind of on the runway. Ah, heck. I'll keep this plane. Practice makes perfect. Alright, let's... Ooh, that was a nice view. Alright, let's climb back in here. 
Let me, uh... Set my trim back towards somewhere near takeoff. And uh, let's see if I can't taxi back down to the other end of the runway. This guy's come to load more boxes. You know, you can fit more boxes on there once. He doesn't have to make so many trips. Good grief. All right, let's see if I can't uh, taxi back down to the end of the runway and uh, next we're going to head up towards uh, 7WA3 Westwind Airport another add-on uh, a freeware add-on from Orbix and we'll check that one out I have never been to that one So we'll check it out and see what's up. We'll get down here and turn around and head back out. In the grass here a little bit. They've got a little, uh, a little cul-de-sac at the end of the runway here, so that you can turn around the airplane. Oh, there's another truck. How quaint. Uh, did I really just say quaint? Yeah, there it went. See ya. All right, let's finish getting this thing turned around here. All right, we got her lined up. Oh, actually, I want to set my next heading, and I want to reset my watch. So, uh, Let's see, now we're going to be going uh, 331 degrees. Alright, and man, this something is hurting my head. And I think it's this headset. Yeah, the headset's pushing down the button on top of my cap, right into my head. Okay, 331. And let me set my time here. All right, let's get out of here. This is ugly. Jeez. Let's not do that again. All right, we're up and away. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on course here. Not waste any time. There goes uh, Seattle in the background there. Bye, Seattle. Bye. See you next time. All right, that was a uh, fall city. One WA six out on airport from Orbix. Hayware, that one. 
And we're now on course 27 WA3 West Wind Airport Freeware add on from Orbix. We're going to check that out. I haven't seen it yet. So it's going to be a new one on both of us. I should have just went ahead and uh, reset the season to uh, spring or fall, summer, anything but winter. But that's okay. Four thousand sounds like a good even round number. Get her leveled off, accelerate. Pushing pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and start trimming her down. And I've got I've got 160 knots planned as a cruising out, uh, cruising speed. This one just doesn't want to trim. Come on. All right, I think I've just about got it turned out where I want it. Yeah, only now. Only just now. If I can get it, uh, get it to hold altitude at about 160 knots, I should be pretty good. And make sure we're on course. Some mountains up there. I didn't even bother to check uh, the train along the course, so uh, I might be doing some climbing. Good thing I got it trimmed out. and give it just a hair more. This throttle is super sensitive, apparently. Go ahead and give it some throttle. Okay, we're, we're pretty level at 160 knots. <clears throat> it's looking pretty good to me. Reset our view. Yeah, I'm going to be flying over some mountains up there, it looks like. And these rivers are brought to you by Orbix Global Vector. I hope they're accurate for the sake of Orbix. Because that's the whole point.
Man, why does my... Uh, you, uh, I am pretty sure my artificial horizon was in color. Oh, maybe it's just the lights. I mean, I can see a pale blue there. I had my instrument lights on because I was flying in the dark just a few minutes ago. Not in the dark, but dusk. Let's not split hairs. Let's not argue. Oh, looking forward to uh, flying over those uh, mountains up there. Not really, but... Heck, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, get some altitude going here. Might as well. We're going to have to anyway. I usually like to uh, fly a little low and uh, appreciate all of this fine detailed scenery that I've paid a lot of money for. But a little altitude never hurt anyone. If you're watching live, thanks for joining me. <clears throat> Go ahead and type something in the chat box. We'll have ourselves a nice conversation. <clears throat> if you're watching this not live, if you're watching it later, then uh, thanks for stopping by my channel. Make sure you hit the follow button. And uh, catch me next time when I'm live. And uh, be sure to chat. I don't always talk to myself, I promise. Sometimes I talk to real people. Just apparently not so much tonight. I'm just eyeballing it, and I'm thinking six or seven thousand feet will be enough to clear those mountains up there. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've flown this Orbic scenery in the winter season, and it's not bad. I've never seen a winter landscape from the air uh, 
so I'm not sure how accurate it is. Right through this cloud. Let's do it. Why not? Beautiful airplane. Wish I had one. Well, that wasn't bad. Some of that nice uh, Orbix global vector uh, rivers and coastlines. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. look through the airplane. It's magic. It's magic. November 162 Mike Papa. Okay. Well, I do want to get out of these clouds. Uh, before I get close to those mountains, so we might actually be climbing a little bit higher than 7,000. And I'm in a slow climb. I've got it uh, trimmed for 160 knots, which uh, which I had planned for my cruise speed uh, because I want to keep track of the time and know what I'm getting close to this airport that I've never been to before around all of this uh, scenery that I've never seen before. So hopefully I will know exactly uh, down to the minute when I should be at the airport as long as I uh, stay at 160 knots. And on my current heading. So at uh Full throttle, this is my climb rate, and it is what it is. pretty nice scenery if you're watching live stick around for the uh, next leg of the trip uh, right now we're headed to uh, 7 WA3 West Wind Airport which is a uh, free add-on scenery airport from Orbix uh, never been there before want to check it out see what it looks like after uh, downloading the add-on and installing it and uh, after that, we're going to uh, switch to a flying boat and head over to CAX-6 Ganges Water Aerodrome, which is another free add-on airport from Orbix. Uh, well, a water aerodrome 
from Orbix. Uh, we'll do a water landing there if I can. Um, I'm, I'm going to use the uh, I forgot what it was, um, but it's uh, it's the stock FSX flying boat. Um, I don't know, is it like a Grumman Mallard or something? Uh, I'm really not sure. Uh, never flown it before, so this should be interesting. Go ahead and uh, throttle back just a little bit. Stop this climb. track of my time where we should be about halfway there a little over halfway there to uh, West Wind Airport I have no clue what it looks like I have no clue if it's a grass strip um, paved uh, how long the runway is if I'll even be able to get this plane down and stopped before I run off the end of the runway like I almost did back in Fall City I have no idea were I flying in the real world, certainly I would be a little better prepared than this. But I'm not flying in the real world, that is. And so I'm not better prepared, that is. Hope you guys are... Uh, enjoying my webcam my uh, lighting in here is horrible I think you can see the uh, seat of the airplane behind me and uh, should be able to see out the window here also and uh, if I use my movie magic to pull back the green screen there's the uh, a little bit of a soundproofing uh, ballast <laughs> or something that I've got up there and if I take the green screen and wrap it around my head I should disappear it's like magic hope you guys enjoy that oh maybe I should be paying attention to my airplane what's it doing I'm still on course still mostly level Just nudge the throttle back just a slight bit. I'm still in just a little bit of a climb. Landscape's looking nice though. I'm not too sure about those near perfect squares of snow. I'm not not sure if that's a thing. Or if that should look like that. I think once I land in uh, West Wind, in addition to uh, switching aircraft, I will probably uh, go ahead and change the season like spring or something should make for some nice scenery
This is a pretty nice uneventful flight so far. Airplane's trimmed out nicely. Climbing a foot or two per minute. This throttle is super sensitive. You can try to snudge it back just another hair. And get a little more of that climb out. <clears throat> Looks like that might have done the trick, unless I start descending, which would be not cool. Let's take a look around outside. It's another nice river brought to you by the good folks at Orbix Global Vector. I should get Orbix to sponsor my stream. Of course, if anybody were watching, they might go for that. There's a super high mountain over there. Not sure what that is. Let me pull up uh, Sky Vector real quick, see if I can find it. And I know uh, your some of your audio has just cut out because I pulled up Sky Vector. Um, it should be about half. Okay, so that is that going to be Mount Baker? Yeah. So I'm going over this river here. Let's see Baker Lake, uh, Skagit. Got. I can't see it. Skagit River. Uh, then I'll have Lake Whatcom. And uh, that's when I should probably start descending into West Wind. But that is uh, Mount Baker over there, 10,800 feet. So this is the Skagit River below me. Mount Baker at 10,800. Seattle is way back in the distance, back there somewhere. And then the what.com lake should be uh, just up ahead. The what whatcom lake. So we'll keep a lookout for that as well. I've only veered slightly off course. Good, good. This is good. This is good. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling happy. Cause I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. Gotta fix my green screen here again. I've got some strange shadows going on. Yeah, I'm happy. Feeling good. Feeling good. My ear itches. Ah, uh, that's a little better. You might notice my, uh, I've got green on my headset. I don't know if you can see that the, uh, the video is keying out the green on this part of my headset as well, but, oh well. Oh, I'm sorry, I just bumped my yoke and jacked everything up. No es bueno. I think that might be lakewhat.com over there. Lake Wat Watcom? I don't know, I'm just guessing. It all looks very nice. Very nice. I 
Apparently bumping my uh, yoke has uh, knocked my airplane out of trim. So now I'm losing a couple of feet per minute. Story of my life. I feel like I might actually need to, uh, yeah, I might need to bear this way a little bit. So I can look for this airport. Pull up Sky Vector again. See if there's any, uh, any good landmarks around this airport. It looks like there's a, uh, railroad track and a river. And that's that's pretty much it. A railroad track and a river is what we've got to go by. So let's see where it is in relation to that lake. One more time. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty much just directly north of that lake. So uh, I've got to get west here a little bit. Lake Whatcom. What? Oh, one more time. Pull up Sky Vector again, see if there's any other airports around it that will confuse me, and I'm not seeing any. So, uh. So it looks like. Man, this is tough. Looks like I'm gonna have to look out for some railroad tracks. I'm going to have to be north of that lake over there, that kind of reservoir-ish kind of thing. And pull up my map one more time. Take a look. Yep. Yeah, okay. So there's this little notch here. And the airport I'm looking for is going to be north of that notch. So I need to get west a little bit. And then I'll start looking for my airport. 7WA3 Westwind Airport. Once again, that's a free add-on airport scenery from Orbix. It does require the payware. Pacific Northwest, uh, which is a prerequisite for that freeware out on airport. And uh, I do believe uh, Orbix uh, Global Base is a prerequisite for Pacific Northwest. Uh, I think that's all. Um, I also have a Global Vector and uh, North America Open LC, uh, neither of which I believe are prerequisites requirements for um, the uh, Pacific Northwest scenery. So, so there you have it. All right, let's see if I can uh, get a little bit of a descent going here. I think I see a river. That might be the river that I'm looking for. Those might be the droids I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the river that I'm looking for up in this area. And I think the airport should be right about there. <clears throat> Let me take a look at my map again. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. I guess I'll find out. If there are railroad tracks, that's a bonus. Sorry, I'm trying to trim up to slow down, but I'm also trying to, uh, descend as well so I'm pulling some throttle back and uh, getting a little bit of porpoising here also I guess I should just uh, 
use my yoke and uh, pitch a little bit. See, now on the map, I don't see that lake just kind of cutting off to the... Well, yeah, I guess it kind of does. I think the airport might be even closer than I think it is. I'm thinking it should be in this area somewhere. So I'm just going to slow her way down. start looking because I am seriously high. And again, you know, it's a, uh, as we've seen earlier in this flight, uh, this is an Orbix freeware airport and uh, there probably shouldn't be too much to it. I mean, gosh, there's all kinds of stuff down here that could be a freeware private airport. I mean, there's a the little, little thing here, a little thing there. Yeah, and, and it, it should be, uh, see, I don't know, it should be, uh, let me take a look at this river again. I don't know how accurate this river is. Okay, there's a little split. So, oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Is it over here somewhere? Is that it? Well, I guess I just need to stay close to this river and look. I just need to keep my eye out. Keep my eyes peeled. What does that even mean? <clears throat> do, do you peel eyes? Can you peel eyes? This, this is a little frustrating. Just a little bit. I, I feel like I'm missing it. I feel like I'm missing it. I see an airport back there. Right over in here. Let's see. Okay, that's going to be Lyndon Jansen. <laughs> Lyndon Johnson. Uh, oh, I think I got to go up the river a little more. Okay, yeah, got to go up the river a little more. Or not? No, the river. That's, that's not what the river looks like on the map. Oh, this is killing me. Oh, hang on, let me look at the map again. Good grief. Hmm. It's very fortunate. Well, there's actually two rivers. Okay, that is not the airport I'm looking for. Is that an airport right there?
This is really frustrating. Is that an airport? That looked like it could be an airport. I wonder if I could get any. No, it doesn't have any information on that airport. Oh, let me see if I can look it up here. And I know you guys can't see any of this stuff that I'm doing right now. Uh, what is this? This is uh, 7, 7 WA3. 7 WA3. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Here's a map of it. It doesn't look like anything. Oh my gosh, it's like nothing. It's like nothing right beside the river. And I think I see it. That is not the airport I'm looking for. Actually, I should probably make my turn the other way. Okay, I, I think I saw it. And if that is it, I'm going to be really unimpressed, especially if it's a... Uh, well, like I said, it's a, it's a freeware add-on. What is that? Is that an airport right there? What is that one? Sky Vector. Okay, so that's... Well, that's across the border, apparently. So Sky Vector isn't going to show me. So that's the border. Ooh, look, I think, they, that, I think they actually put the border on there. There it is. There's the border. No, I don't know. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Yeah, I've got a pretty good rate of descent now. Alright, so let's head back over towards uh, that, that river. And uh, I do believe I spotted that airport. It's like spotting a needle in a haystack. It's freaking ridiculous. I ended up uh, pulling up the satellite image of the airport from Sky Vector. They have a uh, Google Earth image of it to see where it was in relation to the river because the uh, VFR chart doesn't make it very clear where it is in relation to the river. It's just got a big circle with an R on it somewhere like covering up most of the river. So, so it looks like it's uh, on the uh, east eastern boundary of the river and uh, I don't know if I've spotted it here or not <laughs> I, mean, I thought I did but the closer I get man I don't know I, I just don't know But I am getting pretty low here. And, uh... Ah, uh, good grief. I'm not seeing an airport. I, th I thought I was seeing an airport. But now I think I'm not seeing an airport. Oh, this is so frustrating. Good thing I've got plenty of fuel. I'm about to run out of altitude. Oh, there's some nice repeating tiles.
Is that it? Oh my god, that's it. Oh, this is horrible. Alright, time out. Pause. Here's what I'm about to do. Uh, I am about to change to uh, spring. Spring. Okay. Reload. We're going to see if this looks any better in the uh, springtime. Because dang. You know, just dang. Hang on, it's loading. Spring is loading. Man, if that's the airport, oh my gosh. It's like impossible to spot if you don't know exactly where it is. And you're just like hand flying and just using freaking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, wow, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, you know, dead reckoning. If you're just if you're just navigating by dead reckoning, I mean seriously. If you don't at least have like a GPS or something, and you're unfamiliar, that's horrible. Still loading. Still loading. Almost there. Okay. Well, yeah, there's a little airport. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure that that's it. Oh, let me look at this uh, map again before I start this thing back up. It could be Acme. No, Acme is east. Of Lake Whatcom, but there should be like railroad track. Are there is that a railroad track? Oh, this is it, isn't it? Oh, this is totally it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to unpause it. I'm going to circle back around and land at this airport. And uh, then we will probably take a little break while I switch aircraft. And uh, then we'll go do a water landing at the water aerodrome. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Wow. Man, that, I mean, yeah, that's, that's like impossible to find. That's crazy. Well, good news is I've got plenty of field and stuff to land on, so. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's, uh, I'm already pretty low. Slow this down, get some flaps in. Put my landing lights on. If you're just joining me, thanks. Go ahead and type something into the chat box. I'll be happy to talk with you. I've just spent a ton of time looking for this tiny ass airport out in the middle of podunk I don't even know Canadian border and uh, 
finally figured out where it is and I'm about to go land and uh, then I'm gonna be switching to a uh, flying boat and we're gonna go hit up a uh, water aerodrome but I gotta get this guy on the ground first I've, I've probably lost the airport again too Yeah, where is it? No clue. Absolutely ridiculous. I think I see the airport buildings up there. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't see the runway. The strip. I think it's probably over this way a little bit. So this is 7WA3 West Wind Airport. Free add-on scenery from Orbix. And now I see why it is free, because there's nothing there. Flying here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. And let's put this bird on the ground and hope I can get her stopped. Is this the runway? I'm just going to pull all the power out. Hope I can get it stopped. Give it some brakes and hope I don't nose over. Stop! And I'm in the water. In the water. What? What? Whoa! 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 What's going on here? Whoa! 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 This is not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Where'd the Where'd the airport go? Not cool. Okay, well, apparently that was my uh, soul going to heaven. Sky Cowboy, what is up, man? Did you see that horrible crap? Um, I just I just landed and rolled out into the water, and uh, I think I think my soul my soul just went to heaven. Uh, I'm pretty sure is what what happened there. So uh, so now I'm just trying to actually just just put it on the ground. And uh, roll over and see if I can take a look at this uh, free. Get, 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 chirp, 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 son of a. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna see if I can just roll over and look at this uh, free, free Orbix airport if I can find it again. Where did where where'd it go? Yeah, I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it. This is ridiculous. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go over there. Uh, yeah, that was horrible. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not the right plane for the job here. I mean, I came in as low and slow as as I could. Where'd it go? Oh, it's up there came in as low and slow as I could and uh, yeah it just wasn't having it but it took me forever to find this airport in the first place it was stupid so oh yeah okay so there's some some of that orbix grass so I'm in the right place and so yeah I don't know how long you've been watching but I've been doing a little tour of uh, some of the uh, orbix airports in the uh, Pacific Northwest here um, most of them uh, freeware, and uh, this is uh, this is seven WA three West Wind Airport. Um, yeah, just uh, seven WA three uh, West West Wind Airport in the uh, Pacific Northwest, uh, right on the border of uh, Washington uh, uh, and Canada. 
uh, and this is uh, one of the free freeware airports for Morvix. So, uh, never been there before. Wanted to check it out. Yeah, the Orbix is nice. I like it. Um, and obviously, I mean, you know, uh, this is freeware, so it is what it is. There's not a lot here. Um, loving this plane, except for the fact that I can't seem to land it. And uh, from here, I'm going to be switching to uh, some kind of a flying boat, um, whatever that, I, and I don't even know what it is right off the top of my head, but the, the, the FSX stock flying boats, like a like a Grumman Mallard or something, I don't, I don't even know what it is. Um, yeah, that's a, a paint job, sweet. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'm going to be switching to a flying boat and going over to, uh, Orbix has a... Uh, CAX-6 Ganges Water Aerodrome, uh, which is just a few minutes from this airport. So, uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be taking a break here uh, in just a minute and switching over to that. Um, because apparently, whenever I switch airplanes, I actually have to close out my uh, FSX and restart it and then switch airplanes. Because if I just switch airplanes on the fly like this, um, everything everything loads up all screwed up for some reason and uh, I haven't figured that one out uh, quite yet but uh, but yeah I've been flying let's see I did a KHQM Bowerman Airport uh, over on the uh, over on the coast to uh, 2 S1 Bastion Island which is uh, right outside of Seattle then over to Fall City Airport 1 WA6 and now I am at 7 WA3 Westwind. And uh, yeah, I've been flying that business liner uh, this whole trip. It's been doing good. I hope you can hear the growl of that engine. Love it. Love that engine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sounds so sweet. Uh, but then, yeah, I'm going to be. Uh, Heading over to this water aerodrome, which is also a uh, freeware add-on airport from Orbix. So, I think I need to get Orbix to sponsor me, sponsor my stream or something. Like, get some money from them or something. Like, every time I say Orbix, they should give me like five cents. Which is more than what I make off of YouTube. So, that would be awesome. So, uh, so yeah, um, anyway, thanks for dropping by. I don't know, uh, how long you're going to be on for, but, uh, I am going to take a short break because I've been on here for quite a while now. Um, so, uh, no, I'm not using three monitors. Um, I have got a big, like 40 inch display right in front of me. Um, and that's all I can fit in the tiny closet that I'm in here right now. Um, because because this closet is like literally like 41 inches wide so um, so I've just got everything opened up in little you know different little windows uh, on the screen so yeah uh, what was I saying oh yeah I'm, I am gonna be taking a break um, to uh, uh, frankly visit the little boys room and uh, I'm going to reload uh, FSX and uh, open up the uh, line boat, whichever one that is, and then uh, head out to uh, to the water aerodrome. So, uh, so listen, stick around. I'm going to take a few minutes. Um, um, I'm not going to stop the stream. I'm just going to uh, put up my uh, my my uh, soon departing. Uh, it looks like there is an image. To the left, to the left, to the left. Um, and I'm not seeing that on mine. I mean, there's, there's me. I'm here, but I'm not seeing that. Huh? Let's check it out. Uh, 
Hmm, okay. But yeah, I'm going to take a break for just a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be stopping the stream. Uh, I'm just going to put up my, uh, my other screen. And uh, then I'll be back on with the last leg of this epic journey um, of all these Orbix add-on airports. Um, it could be it could be a poster. Are you talking about are you talking about like um, on my webcam? I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Because my webcam is just me, and then my green screen. My green screen has the interior of the airplane. See, that's that's just a green screen <laughs> with the interior of the airplane. <laughs> this is like the seat. Yeah, trying to lean back, the seat of the airplane, and the window, and the wing. Oh, you can see the wing out there. Yeah. And then it's like really bright up here because my lights up here. But yeah, that's just my green screen. Pretty, pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to take a break. Um, don't go anywhere, because I'll be back in a couple of minutes um, with the uh, other plane loaded up. <laughs> 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 nice. Um, actually, man, I've got this uh, this cheap, crappy uh, Logitech webcam that's like 10 years old now, and I need to get a new one. Uh, that's why it looks like crap. And uh, when I get a new one, hopefully the, uh, the whole the whole I'm supposed to be inside of the airplane thing will uh, come in a little bit better but uh, for now I'm just working with what I've got so um, sorry I'm gonna take a break um, don't go to go anywhere or you know go anywhere, go somewhere for a couple of minutes and come back because I'm gonna have that other airplane loaded up and I'm going to attempt a water landing it'll be cool it'll be fun so uh, so yeah I'm gonna do that um, Stick around, Sky Cowboy. I'll uh, see you in a couple minutes.
All right. If you're still there. Getting this thing loaded up. I'm loading up the uh, FSX stock. It is a uh, Grumman Goose, not a Grumman Mallard like I thought it was. Uh, I have not flown this aircraft, so this should be fun. Hey, and there it is. Wow, that looks like utter crap. Wow. Okay, so we're already running. I'm sitting here running. I don't know where anything is. Looks like everything works. This is supposed to be a uh, bare metal version. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right, Grumman Goose. I feel ya. Yeah, that's that's it's okay looking, I guess. What happened to my uh, sounds? I have no sound now. Well, that's not cool. Yeah, anywhere tropical. Yeah, it's just fitting. It's kind of got a whole uh. Indiana Jones kind of thing to it. A whole uncharted sort of thing to it. I don't know if you're familiar with uncharted. Why don't I have sounds? Uh, sound. Engines, cockpit, environment, voice. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> I have sound back. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to get this thing in the air. Do I have a heading bug on this? I've got to head uh, 253 degrees. Oh, I do. Two fifty. So I've got to head 253 degrees here. Oh, a tailspin. Yeah, I remember watching that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it kind of does. It's a neat airplane. Um, the FSX model of it is okay. Alright, well, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, so I guess I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Parking brake, parking brake. Do my flaps work? Oh yeah, I've got flaps. Okay, that's cool. Put those back up. Alright, well, I'm just going to do it and uh, see what happens. Wow, oh, it got really quiet all of a sudden. And I'm veering off to one side like mad. And what 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 is it doing? What seriously, what's going on here? It seems mostly uncontrollable. Let's put my gear up. Uh yeah, I use Sky Vector. Right, this thing seems to be in a sort of nose down configuration. I don't know where my trim. Oh, there's stuff up here. I don't 
don't know where my trim wheel or indicator is. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Huh, I don't know. All right, but we we are flying. We are flying. Okay. It looks like I'm on course now. So Okay, so there's some float switches. Do I have some exterior floats on this bad boy? I guess I do. I guess they come down from the wing wingtips there somehow. San Juan to St. Martin. Yeah, that would be. I've actually got I've got the uh, Fly Tampa. Um, uh, what is it? I think it's St. Martin, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I've, I've got some Fly Tampa scenery uh, for some of that stuff down there. Uh, that would be kind of fun in this. Maybe I'll do that soon. It's not a bad model. I hate the virtual cockpit. The virtual cockpit looks like shit. Well, it needs to load. The textures look kind of like over textured or something. I don't know. And low res. Low res and over textured. It's okay, I guess. Oh, okay. Let's not get too high. Because we're not going very far. Slow her down just a little bit. Oh, and this airspeed's in miles per hour, so I, I could probably go a little faster. I had this planned at uh, 160 knots. Oh yeah, yeah, that's part of the, uh, uh, I, I want to say that it's, it's part, the St. Bart's is part of the package, um, and I want to say it's St. Martin. I'm not sure, but it's got a, it's got a couple of airports in it. St. Martin, is that, is that, uh, is that Princess Juliana Airport? Do you know? Because it's Princess Juliana, whatever it is. And then, uh, and then St. Bart's. And yeah, that's the uh, Fly Tampa scenery. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. This one does not want to trim out at all. Oh, hey, there's Valve. Take a look around, see what this guy's all about. What are those? Cabin heat. Propeller de ice. Uh, doesn't toggle anyway. Those toggle. Propeller, carb heat, flap control. 
Huh. Very interesting. What is that? Oh, is that like the fuel tanks? Fuel tank switch? Left? I see a left and a both. Yeah, it must be. What if I want it on both? Oh! Oh! What did I do? Nothing happened. I mean, other than the engine sputtered. Yeah, I'm not touching that again. That'll teach me to go touching things. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in like a minute. Well, not not literally a minute, but <coughs> this should be interesting. I don't like this uh, virtual cockpit. I like the plane, don't get me wrong. Oh, you want to see the outside of it again? Oh, no, that's somebody. Oh, lightning quick, lightning quick. Oh, thanks for joining me, lightning quick. This is the uh, stock FSX Grumman Goose. This is my first time flying it. It's not bad for a stock model. It's kind of sweet. And uh, I'm going to attempt a water landing up here at uh, CAX-6. Charlie Alpha X-Ray 6 Ganges Water Aerodrome. Which is some uh, freeware out on airport from Orbix. Um, if I can find it. So I just landed at a uh, seven whiskey alpha three uh, before this flight here, and man, I, I had trouble finding that one. That was like like two buildings and a grass strip, um, and the grass strip just looked like everything else. So if it weren't for the fact that there were a couple airplanes parked outside, I probably wouldn't have found it at all. Yeah, I might, uh, I'm not sure if I, I was just thinking that I might try to find one of these in like payware with a better virtual cockpit to buy, but I'm not sure if I would fly it enough for it to be worth the investment. I mean, I mostly fly the Cessna 172 for, for training for real world because that's what I'm going to be flying, uh, uh, for, uh pilot lessons um, all of this is just fluff so I'm not really sure if it'll be worth the investment but I don't know it could be fun But thanks for joining me, everybody. If you haven't done so already, hit the follow button. It's awesome. Hitting the follow button is awesome. I am not a pilot in real life. I am uh, I'm training to be a pilot. And uh, right now, for financial reasons, most of my training consists of sitting here uh, simulating flying airplanes. Um, I do a lot of flying on Pilot Edge, but they are off today. So uh, I'm not flying on pilot edge. I'm just kind of putzing around at the moment.
but I am studying to be a pilot. I do want to get my uh, private pilot's license. That is my end game. That is my ultimate goal. I think the problem with finding this airport uh, is going to be the fact that it's not an airport at all. It is a water, water aerodrome. So unless they've got some planes sitting there in the water, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell it from anything else uh, once I get near it. Uh, how long does it take to become a real pilot? That depends on how much money you have. Um, it can take as little as three weeks. Now, believe it, and I'm not kidding. There is a school here in my hometown that offers for for ten grand flat rate. Offers your private pilot's license in three weeks. Private pilot's license is what I'm talking about. Um, you go and you stay there. You you reside there for three weeks. You don't leave the campus. You get up. You do ground school. You fly until it's time to go to sleep. And in three weeks, you have your uh, private pilot's license. Um, for me, it's probably going to be something like two years, uh, mostly because um, mostly because of money. Um, pilot lessons aren't cheap. But uh, basically what you have to do is uh, you have to have 40 hours logged in order to uh, um, uh, pass your check ride, take your, te take your check ride, which is a, a practical test. You get up and fly an airplane with an instructor, and that's your test. Uh, so you've got to have 40 hours in order to do that, and uh, you have to pass your written exam, which you can do pretty much at any time. Um, so that's really all you need, 40 hours of, inst of instruction. You need to pass your written exam and you need to pass your check ride and uh, however long it takes you to do that yeah three yeah three weeks yeah no they could they give you 40 hours in three weeks you you stay there you know it's like like I said you live you live for those three weeks there at the school you do not leave you don't go home you don't go out at night from the time you get up to the time you go to sleep you're learning to fly <laughs> But yeah, all, really, all you need is, is you know forty hours of time logged. You have to be able to pass your check ride, and you have to be able to pass your written test. That's pretty much it. So, and you can do it as quick as you want. You can do it as slow as you want. And I will be doing it slow because I don't have the money to do it quickly. You know, it can be it could be a hundred dollars an hour to rent a plane, um, and it could be a hundred dollars an hour or more for a flight instructor, and uh, that adds up. <clears throat> Uh, to become a commercial airline pilot, I you know I haven't even looked into that. I'm sure that's it's that's probably basically more hours and more tests. So, <clears throat> I I don't know if that's a three week process or not. I would I would imagine it's probably not. And you, and and you got to understand, you know, these guys who are who are studying to become a commercial airline pilot, they. They can probably, I don't know, they can probably get, and, and this is conjecture here from, from little tidbits that I've heard here and there and everywhere else, but they can probably study to become an airline pilot and take the tests and, and become certified and all that, but that doesn't mean now you're an airline pilot. You know, most of these guys start out, you know, flying, you know, flying little single engine prop planes, you know, uh, uh, or just working. <laughs> You know, just working on a ramp at an airport, you know, uh, fueling up airplanes or, you know, handling cargo or, you know, um, it's, it's pretty diffi difficult to, to get into, from what I've heard, to get into a commercial airline pilot slot. So, uh, I need to start looking around and seeing if I can't find this airport. 
I think it's going to be over here. I have a uh, brother-in-law who is a... Uh, he's not a commercial airline pilot, but he is a uh, professional pilot uh, for a... Uh, a uh, kind of a ch uh, like a charter jet company, um, and he did a lot of flying before he landed that job. Yeah, you you don't just go out and get your license and then you know jump in a seven forty seven. I might have to pull up Sky Vector and look at some terrain. Maybe it's over there. I don't know, I, I think it's in all these little fingered looking islands. But you know, I'm I'm not even interested in uh, becoming a uh, airline pilot. You know, I I've I've considered the idea of doing like uh, like maybe like like instruction. I might I might want to become a uh, instructor. That might be fun. But I don't know. I'm mostly doing it just you know just for my enjoyment. Um, I've always been interested in flying and uh, wanting to uh, become a pilot. Alright, I think I'm going to have to pull up Sky Vector here and take a look. Uh, okay, so there's... Well, it should be... I'm thinking it should be right in that little nook. Should be right in this little nook over here, I'm thinking. Let's take a look at the nook. What's up, nook? So if this looks like it, I'm probably going to have to circle around again. See, that's the problem with flying into somewhere that I've never flown in before that doesn't have a runway to look at. Because it's like, you know, is that even an airport? don't know if that's it or not. I mean, if it is, it should be like super detailed. Let me swing around here again. Anyone just joining, uh, thanks for watching. Type something in the chat box. We'll have a good conversation. Hit the follow button. That's fun. I promise. Doesn't cost you anything. And uh, you'll be able to get notifications to see when I'm online again. What I'm doing right now is I am finishing up a long tour of some Orbix add-on airports. I've already hit up uh, Kilo Hotel, Quebec, Mike, Bowerman Airport, over on the coast. Started there, then to uh, 2 Sierra 1, 
Bastion Island Airport. One Whiskey Alpha 6, Fall City Airports. Just left uh, 7 Whiskey Alpha 3, Westwind Airport. And I am currently searching for Charlie Alpha X-Ray 6, Ganges Water Aerodrome, which uh, I think is probably right down there. I'm going to take a look at this uh, topography again and the coastlines and everything and see if it looks like I'm about in the right place, which I think it does. And pull up Sky Vector one more time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks like it should be it. So I guess I'm going to circle around and land there. And uh, we'll see how this goes. But anyone watching, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the follow button. And uh, let's see if I can uh, land this plane that I am just flying for the first time. This is the uh, stock FSX Rum and Goose. Pretty sweet looking model from the outside. From the outside. But go ahead and use the uh, chat box. Say hi. Vega, what is up? Long time no see. I haven't been on much lately. You know, the holidays and all. Good to see you here, though. I don't know how long you've been watching, but I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to try to land this, uh, Grum and Goose that I have never landed before at, uh, what I suspect, um, might be. Charlie Alpha X-Ray 6 Ganges Water Aerodrome. At least I hope it is because that's where I was trying to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and uh, say that my airport elevation is sea level. So let's get her turned back towards west. Watt! What is up, Watt? I think I lost track of Watt because he was on my old channel and I changed my name. And uh, he probably just found me because I remember the the what and I didn't remember uh, what the rest of his screen name was or else I would have sent him a message or an invite or something but uh, hey what good to see you again I'm glad you're here now let's see if I can land this guy where where are you I think it's right up there in that nook I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going Yeah, it's good to be flying again. Been a little busy over the uh, holidays. Man, I think I need to get low and slow here pretty quick. All right, Watt. We'll see you in a minute. I wonder if I should do a 360 or just dive down in there you know I love the orbic scenery I'm really digging it there's nothing wrong with it at all in my book I hope I can get down in time and slow enough to land here 
and I also hope this is where I'm supposed to be. Alright, I think... Okay, now am I supposed to put these floats down? Is that... So I don't see I don't see floats down. That seems to not have made any difference at all and wow, I am almost there. I might have to do a go around. I don't know, let's see what happens. Flaps probably would have slowed it down a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm I'm like like super slow now. Oh, this is horrible. A little more power. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. I am doing bad. Okay, there we go. Now, uh Okay, okay, so what what's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, not sure what's okay, so apparently I needed like floats which aren't down. Well, I tried the switch and it didn't look like anything happened. Okay, this is concerning. Uh, oh, okay, so I did the middle switch. See, I, I saw... Ugh. I tried the floats, but I did the middle switch and, and, and they all moved and nothing happened. Okay, so that's up. That's like a neutral position. And that's down. Okay. Well, crap. Full switch functionality. Um, Sky Cowboy, are you talking about this? Uh, um, this goose. So I don't. I don't think the. I don't think the virtual cockpit looks that great. I think the. I mean. I mean, not as great as some of the payware stuff out there. So, let's see. Am I even in the right place? Well, there's an airplane, so I guess this, this must be the aerodrome. Okay, so... So this is free scenery from Orbix. My brakes aren't working. <laughs> that was a joke. I mean, what am I am, I am I supposed to just like bump into the dock or what? Does somebody come out and tie me down or Okay. Oh, there's a guy walking on the beach. Uh, permission to post a link. Um, I, I don't know how to do that. I didn't see the link. I don't know how to give permission to post a link. <laughs> I guess I need to figure this stuff out. Ah, oh, crap! I'll have it figured out by the, by the by the next stream. I promise. But yeah, I don't know how to do that. Sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> I'll figure it out next time. I promise. Okay.
Well. To be honest, this is... I, I guess this, this has a little more stuff. Yeah, send me a message. Um, to be honest, uh, this freeware airport has a little more stuff than some of the other freeware airports I have visited today. So, uh, so that's cool, I suppose. Um, I'm a little underwhelmed, and I guess if I want to be whelmed or overwhelmed, then uh, I'll just have to uh, pay for my airports. Okay, message sent. Um, okay, here's the thing. I've got to open up my browser here. And I know you guys can't see this. I have to open up my browser. And uh, let's see. Where do I find messages? Whoa! Okay, me Whoa, okay. That was weird. Um, you know, I would love to make airports myself. Um, number one, I don't know how to do that. Number two, I probably don't have the time. I'd really like to make a... Uh, <clears throat> oh, and, and welcome, Twisted, by the way. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, good to see you. Um, I would really like to have a. Uh, see, I, I mean, I would, I would, I think I would be totally down for making scenery um, if I knew how, uh, and if I had the time. I think I'd be down for it, but, um, but I, I don't, and I don't. But um, I'd really like to make uh, my hometown airport uh, KLAL. Uh, Lakeland Lender that hosts uh, Sun and Fun. I'd like to make the airport, make like the whole Sun and Fun scenery, like the tents and um, all that stuff. That'd be awesome. Um, hang on a second. I got to figure out where to kind of relatively new to Twitch here. I don't think I've ever gotten a message on Twitch, and I've got to figure out where to find the messages. Hang on a second. Oh, well, messages. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Uh, okay. Okay, free word upgrade. Okay, I'll check that out. Cool. 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 Okay, what am I missing here? Yeah, you know, I'd, and and I have I have actually watched a couple of videos on. Uh, no, I I only have one monitor, and uh, I'm also reading chat messages on my phone. Um, I have actually watched a couple of YouTube videos about uh, making airports. Um, they were all different and used like different uh, different kinds of software and stuff, and they all seemed very. Uh, um, very involved. Yeah, there's. I, I've seen. I've seen scenery for. Uh, I think it was either X Plane or uh, one or the other, but not not good scenery for FSX. I don't think I've seen an add-on, a KLAL add-on for FSX. Um, actually, strike that. I don't remember seeing a KLAL add-on for FSX, and if I did see one, I don't think it was very good at all. But I do remember seeing a KLAL add-on for something. Um, yeah, and like something, you know, something good, payware quality. I would, uh, Send that link to me in a message. <laughs> message it to me. 
<laughs> yeah, I'd like to see it. I mean, I've, I and I, like I said, I, I have seen something out there, but you know, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty well familiar with KLAL, and everything that I've seen so far is is not great, you know, and and especially Hanger E. None of them have Hanger E, and Hanger E is my favorite hanger. It's a hanger that I've spent a lot of time in, and and. Um, that's my pet hanger, so, and uh, they all leave it off because it's out in the trees and it's very difficult to see. But whatever. <laughs> but if you but if you send me a message with a link, it I'll definitely check it out. I'll have to look. I'll have to look at that later though because I don't. I, this is I've got two computers and the one that I'm using, I don't typically browse the internet on um, because I don't want to do that. On this computer but but I, I do appreciate you sending me the link and I am going to check it out um, when I'm uh, off of this and uh, on my other computer so um, now I've got to figure out where to go next after I have a smoke I'm thinking maybe, let me pull up, let me see what's near. Uh, there's actually another, uh, hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking I might just fly around these islands a little bit here and uh, just get lost, and see what I can see. Maybe find another airport and put my gear down to land. See what happens. It's a cool shot there. All right, I'm getting seasick here. See, might know how to back this thing up. Wonder if I can uh, use the push option. Oh, I'm pushing. Oh, that's awesome. Can't seem to turn when I push. Okay, so since this is my first time flying this plane, do I leave the floats down for takeoff? I mean, well, I guess you would, wouldn't you? I don't know. All right. Oh, there's a bird. What's up, bird? Don't hit me, bro. Don't bird me. Okay, well, it's not going to turn on a dime, apparently. And my differential brakes aren't going to work. I'm about to run right into this dock. Whoa! Okay, well, I failed at that. Oh, I guess I can go right through it. Never mind, then. I'll just do that this way. We'll chalk it up to... Uh, Wait, am I going in reverse? How is that happening? Can I reverse my props? No. Okay, well this 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 obviously is not ideal right here, but this is what's happening. <laughs> this is this is totally what's happening. Okay. All right, I'm going to get out of the water. The water is not my friend. I wish I knew where my trim was set at. What? 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 I am not a boat captain. Oh, there we go. There we go. This looks good. Come on. You can do it. 
There we go. Shadow's getting smaller. Yeah, I am not a boat captain. This is this is not my gig here. I'm gonna put these floats up now. See, that's what I didn't do last time. I did like hit it twice and wait for it to make noise. Let's see what's going on here. Everybody joining me tonight here on Twitch. All of you Twitchites, thanks for joining. Twitch hikers, you all Twitch hiking? Thanks for joining me. Hit the uh, follow button. Hitting the follow button is fun, and if you don't think it's fun, you can turn around and hit the unfollow button. But it is fun. Yeah, I like this uh, Orbix scenery. I'm pretty happy with it. It's some pretty good bang for your buck. I mean, it, it pretty much looks like what I would expect to see uh, for the most part flying in the real world. What is that? Is that a barge? Is that some kind of a cruise ship or something? I don't even know. Man, everybody went silent. I know you guys are just in awe of my uh, flying skills and that has left you speechless uh, let's call it a uh, 4000 So let's, uh, I, I think we're kind of headed towards Seattle anyway. Yeah, that's it. So let's kind of head in the general direction of Seattle. Why not? I gotta get this guy trimmed out here. Yeah, I don't think I've I've flown Tahiti yet. I have to put that one on my list. Still trying to get this guy trimmed out. I think I'm getting close. Ah, let's see. Hands off. I'm 
680 miles per hour and it looks like I'm starting to lose a little bit of altitude of course I'm also in a turn so let's uh, straighten that out and see what happens and give it just a little more power just a hair no? I think it's catching back up to me. Let's take a look around. Not bad, not bad. Sun's getting a little low. Why, I'll be honest with you um, about my other channel um, I learned of this thing and don't do it I swear to God don't do it but I learned of this thing called swatting and uh, decided since, since I was using my real name on my other channel that probably wasn't a good idea <laughs> And the only way I could change that was to delete my channel and start a new one. So, uh, so I started a new channel so that I wouldn't get swatted. Um, not that I'm important enough to ever get swatted by anybody, but um, uh, I, I figured it was probably a good idea to go ahead and uh, change my uh, change my name, which involves um, apparently deleting your channel and starting a new one. So, yeah, good move. <laughs> yeah, I think I spent, um, I probably spent a good hour watching videos of people getting swatted. Time that I probably could have spent building an airport. Um, so yeah, I have no clue where I'm going right now. Uh, I'm just kind of flying. So uh, I've, I've already uh, flown all of my planned courses. And uh, I don't know, maybe I should just go look for an airport and land there or something. Try to uh, try to land on the wheels of this thing instead of in the water. I uh, I don't think I like flying boats. Um, I don't think that's me. Not at all. I used to live in Winter Haven uh, here in Florida. So right now I live in Lakeland, Lake Land, the land of lakes, and uh, there are actually about ten times as many lakes in Winter Haven than there are in Lakeland. Um, it's uh, it's actually pretty funny. Look up Winter Haven on uh, on Google Earth or Google Maps, and you know zoom out to get a good you know good look at the landscape, and just bask in the glory of all the lakes that are there in Winter Haven. Um, they actually have a chain of lakes where there are a lot of lakes connected by canals and you get out on the chain of lakes in your boat and you just go from lake to lake and have a good time and drink and party and all that stuff. But uh, I remember when I lived in Winter Haven we'd be out on the lake and uh, there was this guy who had a, uh, a flying boat and uh, he would take off from uh, the airport there in Winter Haven it's like Gilbert Field or something like that it's an untowered airport um, you would take off there and just you know fly a couple of miles to one of the lakes and land on the lake um, and pull up to a restaurant that they had there on the lake that had a dock right so people could park their boats there and uh, go in and have a bite to eat 
Well, he'd pull right up to the uh, to the dock in his airplane and uh, uh, get out and uh, go in and have lunch so that everybody could see him in his airplane there at the lake, just a couple of miles away from the airport. Um, takes a special kind of person to do that. And you know, to be honest with you, I think if I had a flying boat, I'm, I, I would probably be that kind of person. Um, but I don't, and I don't want one. So, so yeah, that's that. Thanks for uh, sticking with me through that story. But hey, if you're not going to chat in the chat box, then uh, sorry, you're going to have to uh, be forced to sit there and listen to me ramble about whatever. Or not. This plane wants to pull. Oh, you know what? It's probably uh, the fuel. Yeah, because it looks like it's on the left tank. So it should be pulling to the right as the left tank gets emptied. That's not right. I tried switching that thing once already. And I think my engine cut off. Yeah, that's not cool. Well, it should be set to both. It, because the switch itself doesn't actually move. But it's telling me that it's set to both. So, I don't know. And I don't know what just happened while I was looking at that. Nice little uh, industrial complex down there. Is that like a refinery or something? Yeah, I think I, wanna, I saw one of those little black boxes uh, that pops up whenever it's trying to load a light for an airport. So there must be an airport over there. I'm going to head that way, see what's up. Maybe I can land there. Yeah, I'm actually monitoring the chat on my on my phone which is going to be dying pretty soon because I didn't really plan on being on this long but that's okay and it is midnight here happy new year oh well I'm a day late what else is new yeah that's an airport I wonder if I can get down in time Oh yeah, we're falling fast now. Five AM That's crazy. Yeah, happy new year everybody. I hope you have a good one, and I hope I have a good one. Most importantly, I hope I have a good one. But I hope you have a good one, too. <laughs> I don't know if that's just a, 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 a random tree line going out back that way, or if the runway is actually uh, going off in the distance off back that way. Yeah, I like the scenery. The scenery looks good. It looks like I'm flying. Yeah, Vega, Happy New Year, man. 
Happy New Year, y'all. Have a happy, have a happy, have a happy, happy, happy New Year. <laughs> I think in one of my other streams I promised not to sing. And I really hope that's the runway. I'm going to get up close. It's probably a brush fire. Yeah, I don't think that's the runway I'm lined up with. Let's try this. Let's try turning this uh, into a into a base leg here. Yeah, you remember that. <laughs> I'll have the uh, brush fire plug in. I'm obviously full of shit, but. Oh, and I just lost sight of it. I should put my gear down. And I'm going to put my flaps down in the turn. Oh, there it is. And I am not lined up at all. And I'm low. And this is horrible. This is bad. This is bad. And I just clipped that tree, I'm pretty sure. Am I on the ground? Is this thing really just like that high? <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Man, that, that back end just got loose. That was nuts. Uh, slip it, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite that advanced just yet. I think I was slipping it at the end there, didn't you see? Not on purpose, but... Yeah, I don't I don't think I like flying this plane at all. Come on. Come on. Some other plane's gonna plow right into me He's sitting here on the runway like this. Yeah, it's real. It's real sensitive to steering. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was a nice landing or not, but I'll I'll uh, I'll accept the compliment. Thanks. <laughs> Could have been better. This is kind of a cool little airport right here. I mean, this is this is I don't know what airport this is, but it's better than the uh, freeware ones. that I've been flying all night. It's pretty sweet. They've got some trucks. Some planes parked there. It's not bad. Wow. 
I don't know where I'm going. Let's uh, let's park it over here. Come on. Uh, that's as close as I'm going to get. Alright, I'm going to nail it right there. Oh, secure space. This is not a bad little airport. Yeah, that sunset is sweet. Yeah, I, th I think I'm pretty happy where I'm at with my scenery. I think it's a good, uh, it's a nice, happy medium, sort of all things. Looks pretty good on the ground. Looks pretty good in the sky. It's not too much for my machine to handle. And it's not super smooth either, but eh, it's okay. It's well-rounded. I'll call it well-rounded. I'm pretty happy with Orbix and the Rex. Okay, so the question now is Yeah, I'm running chat on my phone, but I, I can't even fit anything else here in this little closet that I'm in. I can't even fit my laptop in here. I have no place to put it. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can load up my Cessna without this thing crashing on me. And I've got this problem, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I've got this problem in FSX where if I like switch airplanes, um, the new airplane will load up and like nothing works on it. Oh, well let's see, it looks like, it looks like it's working. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Except the uh, sound on the inside doesn't, uh, you can't hear it through the, uh... yeah, I'm casting from a closet, literally. I am literally sitting in a closet. My, uh, my simulator is built in this, uh, it's about 40 inches wide um, by, you know, I don't know, eight feet deep. Yep. Casting from a closet. So yeah, it looks like everything's working here with this uh, Skyhawk. Uh, yeah, heck, I might take it back out. See what's up. Let's go. Yeah, so right now, oh, where's my taxiway? Oh, so right now, um, I can hear, uh, all of my, uh, engine and, uh, and cockpit and all that, all the sounds through my external speakers. I haven't changed anything. I know you guys can't hear it. And uh, I know that sucks. So sorry about that. And uh, I've, I've tried to figure out how to change that. And uh, I can't seem, to, can't seem to figure it out. So whatever, every, whatever works on all of the other planes doesn't seem to work on this one. 
Lionheart Creations. Uh, never heard of it. But uh, I will. I will check those out. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's getting late. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. The landing light's already on. I think I heard a sputter. I've probably got a foul spark plugs or something. Because that always happens on this plane. Okay, so all of these planes you guys are talking about, they have some very interesting sounding names, and I am definitely going to have to check them out. Oh, there's a little boat. Goodbye, boat. I'll see you later. Yeah, it's definitely getting late. I'm getting silly. See, this is my jam right here. This 172. This is my plane. I know her. I know what she likes. I know how she likes to be handled. I know what makes her happy. Yeah, I don't I don't have a problem with the uh, frame rates in the uh, A2A. And I really do like them. For the most part, I think for me, I've you know, I've got some experience with some uh, uh, A2A, the Carinado and the Al Alabeo, which I think the two of them are in cahoots. But even within the same brands, there seems to be inconsistencies in the quality. It's like the uh, I've got the the Carinado, uh, Seneca Five, and uh, and it's pretty nice looking. And I've got the uh, Carinado uh, One Seventy Two, and I think it looks like crap, frankly. But that's my opinion. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Um, I think I was I was like loading up an update or something, and the on on either uh, a Carinado or an Alabeo, and like the the update 
had the other one's brand name on it or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't do much of the glass cockpit stuff either myself because I know um, when I'm taking real world flying lessons, I'm not going to be using a glass cockpit. So. <clears throat> Yeah, the Carinata 172 is crap. I don't like it at all. I think it looks like crap. But the Seneca is nice. And that's kind of like my, my dream airplane right there. If I could ever, if I were ever in the position, if I won the lottery, <coughs> excuse me, I'd, I'd probably buy that uh, Seneca 5. got the uh, the uh, Piper Light Sport. That's pretty fun. Pretty easy to fly. Very forgiving. See now the exterior sound comes through. I'm sure there's something somewhere where I can fix that, but yeah, the Piper Sport. I, li I like that plane. I, I don't fly it much on the sim because I know I'm not going to be flying it in the real world. But I do like it. I, I don't want to get spoiled by it. My landing light's still on. Is that my, my logo on top? You talking about the name of the airplane? The Briar Flyer? <laughs> that's the that's the name of the airplane. I do have my uh I do have two logos on the front of the airplane. Yeah, no, I painted this one. I saw a... I uh, actually found a picture of a 172 that was painted very very much like this. I was like, that's cool. I'm going to paint my plane like that. And if you look closely, that is actually me. That's my face flying the airplane <laughs> I don't know if I can zoom in I forgot how to zoom on this one. Ah, oh, there I am that's me I don't know if you can tell let me get my face in the light
Yeah, anyway. I don't know why I'm looking down so much. Uh, there's the money shot. Yeah. I'm probably about to run into a mountain right now. Yeah, so I pulled up the uh, texture of the character in the file and pretty much just photoshopped my face over the character's face as best as I could. It was fun. Yeah, I'm reading the charts. Um, let's see, what's... don't think I don't think what is going on here what that say oh this is completely wrong it's 135 this is completely wrong What happened there? That was completely backwards. That's close enough. Man, I scared myself for a minute. Because I was thinking, you know, I, I should be head, headed towards uh, Seattle here. Ooh, there's an airport. I think I might go land. I don't know what it is. Or where I'm at, but hey, why not? I think we're going to go set this thing down and then uh, probably put it up for the night because it's half past midnight and I've got to work in the morning. And get her down quick. Get her down super quick. Ah, oh, love that view. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm I'm totally cool with the scenery. I'm happy with it. No complaints here. And speaking of looking down to check your email, I uh, went to my sister's house for the holidays, which involves driving uh, a couple hours on I-4, which runs through uh, the middle of Florida here. 
very dangerous stretch of road. And, uh, man, I, I, I couldn't even tell you how many times I looked over and saw somebody texting while they were driving. Not even. And, and the reason why I looked at them was because they were probably straddling a lane or swerving or just about hit somebody or something. Yeah, I, lo I love them. I'm loving this Rex. Yeah, that just drives me nuts. I don't know how people can do 80 on the highway, especially one as notorious as I-4. Do 80 on the highway and sit there and text while they're driving. It's ridiculous. Well, I was uh, hurrying to get down and giving myself a little bit of time uh, flying out over this little bay here. And uh, I think I've done a pretty good job. Of getting down there. <clears throat> the only thing I'm lacking right now is the uh, ASN weather. I've got the default fair weather on on here, and uh, it's kind of giving a little popcorn effect to these clouds. But yeah, this thing uh, at dusk with the uh, ASN weather and the Rex and the Orbix, it's just so sweet. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's hard to miss an airport. <laughs> I think I just uh, overestimated how much time I needed to get down, which is okay. Rex! All hail Rex. I'm sure Rex is Latin for king, right? I'm high again. <laughs> you know, I, I looked at the uh, Rex 4 Texture Direct, and I can't remember. I, I I don't know. I think I think maybe I was unimpressed by what it had to. By, by the perceived benefits of it, I didn't. I don't know. I can't remember. Some re for some reason, I decided not to get it when I looked at it um, at the time. Uh, maybe uh, I just didn't want to spend the money. That's entirely possible. It's probably something I'll uh, re revisit in the future, especially since now I can't remember why I uh, decided not to get it. So, yeah, this looks pretty good, and especially since it's uh, default, uh, the default weather. I don't know what airport that is, but it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I have Act Active Sky, and it's not on right now.
Well, I'm only a little high. And, and I am pleased with Active Sky. Um, I just didn't feel like uh, dealing with wind corrections when I was uh, flying in between airports today that I had no idea where they were. I just wanted to fly and not plan. <laughs> I was lazy. There we go. Hit this high speed taxiway at high speed. This is a pretty nice looking airport. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty decent looking. Some hangers over here. We'll go park over there. Oh my gosh! I, I I've Sky Cowboy. I've probably told you already that my brother-in-law is a uh, pilot. He flies the. Uh, uh, what is it? It's the. Uh, Citation Sovereign, the C680, I think. Um, he uh, he sent me a photo of his fuel charge uh, from Alaska once, and it was like six thousand dollars. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think they charged him a landing fee, but it was ridiculous. All right, guys. Well, uh, hey, uh, Vega, thanks for being here. Watt, thanks for being here. Uh, hope to see you again. Sky Cowboy, hope to see you again. Um, I'm probably going to try to get on again uh, uh, tomorrow evening. Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, check back. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, half past midnight here. So uh, I am going to sleep. I had fun. I had fun chatting to you guys. Um, so uh, let's do it again soon. Uh, keep an eye out for me online here. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Um, that is all for me tonight. And uh, hope to see you guys again next time. See ya.